Hello and welcome back to my channel. So who is ready to get their life and their home organized? This is the best time of year to do a little home reset. This will give you some ideas, inspiration, motivation, and also if you could take a moment, leave me down below in the comments the type of content that you would like to see more of from me in 2023. How can I help add value to your life? Let's get started with the first project to get my home in order for the new year. Year. I'm very excited about this one and it is a family calendar. This is so we can all be on the same page with what's going on any given day in our family. Now that we have two kids and various activities, Carter's in school, we have things going on on the weekends. This is a centralized, organized way that we can all keep track of what's going on. I got this larger acrylic style calendar just because I think it looks nice in the home, but there's paper calendars. There's a bunch of different ones that you can can find, I will link to a few different options. Now I want everyone watching to take a moment and think about the top three things in your home that are a mess, disorganized, need some kind of a system. This is going to be different for everybody, but for example, this is one in our house, kind of random, but our hats. And I can guarantee you there's an organizer for that. So whatever it was, whatever those three things are in your home, type in hat organizer shoe organizer and there are a million different options and it's the easiest way to just get a system in place but i found this really cool hat organizer so now our hats are nicely stacked up it was so simple and now i can check that off my list and be just that much more organized so here are several more things that I'm organizing around my house to give you some inspiration. So I got this Christmas ornament organizer box, which I love because you can customize the size of these compartments depending on your ornament size if it's up to 60 ornaments in here and I can guarantee future me one year from now is going to be very thankful that I took the time to store these properly so nothing's gonna break. Next thing, I got a similar style container to store some extra shoes. You could see here that Ryan's gym sneakers were taking over our shoe cabinet. It was stressing me out. So I got this similar style storage container that is adjustable depending on your shoe size or whatever you're storing in here. It's not just for shoes. And so I was able to store away bunch of his extra shoes and I like that this container has that clear zipper on the top so you can see inside as to what is in here. For my extra shoes, I had a lot of flip-flops, sandals, so I stored them upright in this basket that I had. This is a great easy way you can store your extra sandals. They don't take up a lot of space and you can still see everything that's inside. Next little addition here in my closet is I got these honeycomb underwear drawer dividers. I like how these look, give my underwear drawer a little flare, but it also is a great easy way just to subdivide. If you follow me, you know I have way too many leggings, not enough space, so I found this leggings organizer. So genius, this was made for me. It takes up such minimal space, hangs in my closet, and I can fit up to 20 different pairs of leggings. You roll them up and it's very easy to see my leggings all here. I have a similar style organizer to this that I use for my purses that I also really like. Now, next to that hat rack that I installed, I also decided I needed a little coat rack because we did not have a dedicated coat rack in the house and whenever we come inside, this is where we walk by. So it's a convenient place to just hang your coats. Carter can hang his backpack here. This next project I did last year, but I wanted to show you again because I highly recommend you do this and that is transfer your mismatched shampoo, conditioner, body wash products into these beautiful streamlined large containers. This serves two purposes. Not only does it look nicer in your bathroom, we have this in our guest bathroom, but you can also then buy your body and hair care products in larger sizes in bulk. Next up is one of my all-time favorite home organization projects, and it is this battery 
organization system, this might seem excessive to you, but let me tell you the next time you need a battery and you have them all stored here, you will thank yourself. This really came in handy on Christmas morning when the kids had new toys that needed batteries and I was dialed in. I also really love that it has the battery tester built into it so you can test your batteries to make sure that they are working. Now, speaking of post-Christmas declutter, this is a great time to go through your kids' toys and do a purge donation of toys that they're not playing with. And I highly, highly recommend you implement a toy rotation system. I have these seven bins. I like the opaque bins for this. So it's like a little surprise every day what toys they're getting. And instead of just throwing all the toys in the bin, I subdivide them with these clear bags. These are great for storing Legos, puzzle pieces, all of your kids' toys that have a lot of different parts so you can keep them together and you're not losing pieces. Then I go through each of the bins and I make sure there's a nice variety in each of the bins for both kids. The reason I love this system so much is that not only does it minimize mess in your home, minimize clutter in your home, but you will find that your kids will actually play with the toys that they have. They don't have so many options. It forces them to focus and play with what they have. Next, we're gonna organize our digital life. This is a great time to first and foremost, organize your photos from the past year. At the beginning of the year, I like to make an album of my favorite photos from the past year. So there's different websites now that you can use to print out the photos. There's chat books, Shutterfly, but that way you can kind of create your yearbook and physically print out your favorite memories from the year so you can have them and they're not just living in a digital world. From there, there's two things that I recommend you do. I have Google Photos. There's also Amazon Photos that you can get for free if you're a Prime member. And you can move your photos from your phone taking up storage onto the cloud. And then as a secondary backup, because I have so many precious memories of my kids, I never want to risk losing them. I also found it's a phone flash drive that plugs directly into your phone and I transferred everything from my phone onto this flash drive that I'm keeping with all of my valuables. So I also know that I have a copy there. Now for your email, something that I did a few years ago and it's been amazing in keeping my inbox clutter free. So what you wanna do in your Gmail, go to filters and create a filter for the word unsubscribe. All newsletter types of emails have the word unsubscribe written in there. So if you do a filter by the word unsubscribe, I have all of those emails go to a separate inbox, which I call marketing emails. So they're not clogging up my inbox, but when there's a sale holiday or if I want to check them, I can still see them. Next thing I did, you must do this and that is review and remove any reoccurring payments, things that you are subscribed to that you no longer are using or no longer adding value to your life because that's how these companies get you now. They automatically subscribe you. So what I did is I just printed out my bank statements, my credit card statements, and I just highlighted the things that were recurring payments. And there were so many little sneaky payments that I did not realize I was being auto billed for. Next thing that I'm doing and I'm going to encourage you to do as well is Schedule those appointments that you've been putting off that you need to do for your own physical health. So maybe that's the dentist. What I just scheduled is a checkup to get all of my moles checked. I haven't done that in like three years. Maybe you wanna do a blood panel, get your hormones checked, whatever it is for yourself. If you've been putting it off, just make the appointment, get it on the calendar and then write it on your family calendar and you are on track to getting your life together. And wait, I wanna show you my organizational project starting the year off with a bang, the garage. We've got new cabinetry, monkey bars over here. We got overhead storage, slack walls, people. Look at this. My dreams have come true. I have an organized, clean garage now. Life is complete. 2023 just started, but I already won it. It's game over. I'm gonna go to bed until 2024. Make sure you are subscribed and following me here if you want more motivational New Year content because I'm just getting started. And with all of that said, I will see you very soon with a new video.